All right. Welcome back, everybody, to the Terry Hansen Show. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope everybody is doing great. Greetings from Podunk Potato Land, Idaho, and welcome once again to episode 38 of the Terry Hansen Show. As you know, my name is Terry Hansen. It's good to be with you. I wanted to take the opportunity to introduce you to two important people in my life. Uh, you know, usually I'm in front of the camera. I'm in, I'm doing all the training and coaching and mentoring with all of my clients all around the country and world. And it's not often that some very important people behind the scenes, behind the camera, get any sort of credit and recognition. So today, I thought I would take the time to introduce you to two very, very important people. And that is Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. Now, because I live here in the great state of Idaho, uh, it's only fitting that the CEO of my company, Hanson Group Company, it is Mr. Potato Head. He's been with me for many, many years and uh, super grateful for his leadership and his, uh, his mentoring and uh, his, his, his trust and faith in me and all that, uh, all that he does to make this company a great place. And our company would not be nearly what it is today without the help of Mrs. Potato Head. She and uh, she's the chief financial officer of our company. And so she balance, not only does she balance the books and, uh, and make sure that all the bills get paid on time uh, and everything, but make sure that money's tucked away for a rainy day and things go super well. So I'm really grateful for these two marvelous individuals that help make this company as successful as it is. And it's only fitting that on the Terry Hansen show that these two hardworking individuals get at least some of the credit uh, for uh, uh, and a little bit of a spotlight. So I really wanted to take a minute and express my appreciation to them and, and make them a, a, you know, a, a more regular part of the Terry Hansen show because again, they, they do so much. So it's good to be with you guys today. Today, we have to talk a little bit about our morning routines. Now, why is this on my mind today? Primarily because, uh, I've, as you guys know, I'm a father. I've been married almost 20 years. I've got five kids. My oldest is 18, getting ready to head off to college uh, in just 10 days, she just reminded me. As a matter of fact, my youngest is nine. He is in the fourth grade. And so we've got a busy household, lots of things going on. We just finished up summer. And as you know, summer vacation happens. Everybody stays up till 11, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, but yet dad still has to wake up early and, and go to work. Nobody else has to work during the summertime. And, uh, but, everybody, but, but certainly dad does. And that creates a problem for morning routines. Now, as uh, you don't have to look very far through behavioral science and all the greats uh, all the most successful entrepreneurs, athletes, actors, performers, uh, great, uh, great contributors uh, to look at what they do and how they are successful to realize that they have got a very specific morning routine that helps them be successful each and each and every single day. I, I also have my morning routine and I thought I would take a minute uh, today and share with you a little bit about what my morning routine looks like and make some suggestions and recommendations on what you can do to help leverage your morning routine to help you as an entrepreneur, as a sales professional, as, as, a, as a freelancer, win more new business for your company. But why do I bring up this whole thing about the summertime is, is it's, we're now kind of getting into uh, you, you know early September, kids are back to school and the nighttime routines are dialing back from you know, midnight and 11 o'clock back down to eight, nine, 10 o'clock bedtimes, which makes it 10 times easier for me to have a much, much better morning routine. Over the summer, my morning routine has been garbage. Uh, it's been all skitty wampus. It's been uh, inconsistent at best. And so I'm love, I love, love, love the fact that, you know, finally kids are back to school and that I'm doing a much better job at getting back into my morning routine. My morning routines for me are everything. So let me just describe what, uh, what my morning routine looks like. I typically, my alarm goes off at 5.30 in the morning and under normal circumstances, I wake up about 5.30, get on my workout and my exercise clothes, stumble downstairs into our playroom area. We've got a treadmill, uh, a bunch of weights. We've got a stair climber uh, and an exercise bike and that sort of thing. And so I'll spend about 45 minutes to an hour uh, exercising. Now, during that exercising period, I've usually got headphones on. I'm listening to podcasts. I'm listening to audio books. I'm uh, listening to YouTube videos of, of great people like uh, Gary Vaynerchuk or Russell Brunson or uh, Les Brown or Tony Robbins. The list goes on and on and on and on. I've got a lot of great mentors that I listen to. And why do I listen to those guys rather than just, just fast paced, hard, you know, heart pounding music? It's because I, I, I want to fill my mind 
my intellect, my knowledge base with things that inspire me, things that teach me, things that rev me up. And that's just how I'm built. I would rather listen to um, business uh, inspirational things about marketing and sales and leadership and motivation and personal development than, than listening to music while I'm exercising so that I can be revved up and motivated and, and, and charged by the time I hit the day. So after exercising is done, then I will grab, um, gosh, I should grab it. <clears throat> Here it is. I uh, meant, to, meant to bring this in, but I didn't. I will uh, typically grab my, uh, my high performance planner from Brendan Bouchard. And I've spoken about this before, but man, oh man, this is a great tool. There's a lot of great planners out there, but I spend some time going through my my uh, my day. Not only will I chart out what, what is happening during the course of the day, but I'll I'll, I'll, I'll write down some specific messages that I, I want to keep focused on in my mind. I'll spend some time getting my mindset right, planning out the day, who I need to speak with, tasks that I need to get done, goals and priorities that need to be accomplished, and other things uh, that are important to me. So I'll spend some time doing that. And then, um, and then after that, I'll spend some time. I'm a Christian. I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And so I spend some time studying the scriptures and currently studying through the New Testament. So I really like studying in the, in the Bible and, uh, and reading the, the scriptures and filling my, my heart and my soul with principles that help my character and help my mind be in my attitude and my behaviors really be, 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 be good and aligned there. So after that, then I hit the shower and I, I usually go wake up kids uh, so they can get ready for school and uh, go get myself cleaned up, ready to go for the day. And then um, after I'm out of the shower and the kids are kind of ready to go, then we will spend some time as a, as a family eating breakfast together. We'll, uh, we'll actually kneel in family prayer and lots of hugs and kisses for everybody before everybody bolts out the door and, uh, and I head off to the office. And that's typically my morning routine. Now, the reason why I love my morning routine is because primarily it has these five elements in it. Number one, I'm eating a good breakfast, I'm exercising, and getting my body supercharged. Now, I need the most uh, amount of energy every single day that I can possibly have. It, when it comes to running your own business and being an entrepreneur, when it comes to being a sales professional or a freelancer, there's a fair amount of hustle that you've got to go through. There's eight or nine hours a day minimum that you are spent grinding and hustling and being at your best. I do not want to live on energy drinks uh, and I do not want to spend my life pumped up on caffeine uh, in order to get me through the day. I want, I want my body to be strong enough and healthy enough that I can put in a full eight or nine hours a day without getting tuckered out and feeling like I need to take a nap midday because I'm just out of juice. So exercising and eating well in the morning really helped me uh, it supercharge my body so that I can have the energy I need to make my phone calls, to send out my emails, to connect on social media, to network, to generate new business for my company. I've got to have that mental and physical strength. Number two, I spend some time learning uh, from all the greats, all my mentors, the books, the podcasts, the, the YouTube videos. I spend some time pumping into my brain uh, all the information that's going to help me be a better coach, trainer, mentor, and guide to my clients, as well as help me run my business better. And I do that while I'm exercising. But I also spend some time in uh, in meditation and prayer and studying the scriptures. Now, that's my morning routine. You can do whatever you want to, but there is a part of our character that deals with our emotions and the inside, our soul, our ins inside. And when we take some time to recharge those batteries, however you might do that, it does, it does something to to your character. That's primarily the whole reason why we focus on this part is our character, our, our integrity, the ethics, the morals, the standards, the values that we espouse, those bleed through into our new business. So I want to be on my mental game when I'm cold calling or generating new business. I've got to be applying the very best tips and tactics and strategies uh, to my business and, and sometimes it's hard to sit down and read books and, and find time for learning. But while I'm exercising, I can do that. But also when I'm out prospecting and hunting for new business, I want to bring a character and a personality that's attractive, that is, um, that's credible. I want to be the kind of attractive character and the kind of uh, expert that people naturally are attracted to. And I really feel like personality and character, ethics, morals, standards, values, though all those things which come here 
are, are a part of the package. So I want to refine that and get that brushed up. I don't want to be a jerk <laughs> ultimately, right? But I also spend some time planning. Here's a critical deals we've talked about. Um, during the morning, I set out, I identify the companies that I want to do business with. I list them out, write them out, and I find, I, I list the top, say, 10 companies that day that I want to contact and do business with. And so usually you and I, as entrepreneurs and salespeople, we're running around so fast that rarely do we slow down and take the time to map out what our day looks like. You, but however, in the morning when you and I specifically block out time in our schedule for hunting for new business and generating new business for prospecting and things like that, and we identify who are the companies we want to do business with, we're doing a very good job at intentionally taking control of the new business aspect of our company and 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 uh, and and making that a priority instead of trying to squish it in here and there, wherever it's going to go, that goes first in the schedule. It doesn't come second. It's got to be a high priority. So it comes first in the schedule. Everything else gets, gets fit in around that, right? So you schedule your priorities. Uh, you don't prioritize your schedule as Stephen Covey uh, once said. But last but not least is the connection. I'm a huge believer that one of the key ingredients to a happy life is the quality of of the relationships that we have. And first and foremost, that's our significant others, our spouses or and or our families and our kids, right? So if we don't spend time connecting with those we care about most and strengthening the relationships at some point in the day, for me, I choose to do at least a little bit of that in the morning, then the quality of my life isn't as good as it, as it could be. I really, again, feel like a quality, happy life comes from quality, happy relationships. And so this fifth element is important is an important part of my morning routine. So now I'm not suggesting in any way, shape or form that in order to be successful at generating new business, you have to have each and every single one of these five uh, and you have to do those e every single morning. But what I am suggesting is the way that you start your day does matter. It does shape how your brain works. It does shape how much energy you bring. It does shape, um, what you say and when you get it done, it shapes the who, the what, the when, the where, the why, and the how of your day. So what I want to invite you to think about is, 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 is today and tomorrow and the rest of this week, how could you modify or change up your morning routine to help you be more intentional and focused and, and better when it comes to generating new business? You know, can you, can you get your body some more energy? Can you get your mind some better tactics to help you generate new business? Can you refine your character and your personality and your soul? Energize that. Can you be more strategic and tactical in your planning and preparation for the day so that you're contacting the right people the right way at the right time of the day? And can you, uh, can you, uh, can you strengthen the relationships that you have with those you care most about so that you're not sacrificing one for the sake of the other? and vice versa, that both are being equally contributed to and strengthened. So anyway, some thoughts for you today. I'm glad summer is over. I, the older I get, the more I hate summers because they're just so flipping busy and chaotic. Uh, but I am grateful that the school year is back up and running and that uh, my morning routine is finally, after three months, starting to take shape once again. I, uh, I, I, my, the best days come when by 8 o'clock a.m., I've got all five of these things checked off and I'm hitting the ground running. I feel like I've already won the day. If I can have my morning routine done between 5.30 a.m. and 8 o'clock a.m., if I can have all five of those things done, I consider the day already won. I've already won the day. I've already achieved some great things. I already had some amazing success. And pretty much anything else that happens between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. is pretty much gravy at that point, right? So I'm a firm believer in having a good morning routine that serves you, that benefits you. And as part of our discussion here, that helps you generate the new business that you need in your company. So anyway, that's your homework assignment for today is take a second look at your morning routine. What could be changed or modified? And for me, the number one determining factor on the quality of my morning routine is when I get to bed. If I'm in bed by midnight or one o'clock, holy cow, my morning routines are usually shot, uh, but if I can get to bed by 10, 11, or something like that, 
then I have the strength and energy I need to get up early and do a great job and have a have a winning a winning day. So for me, I know that if I get to bed at a good time, I'm going to have a great routine in the morning and my day is going to go phenomenal and I'm going to do a great job generating new business. It's all linked together. It's all linked together. Everything is tied together in a domino chain. So take a second look at your morning routine. I hope some of these thoughts have helped you and uh, given you some things to think about. So uh, post your comments down below. I'd love to hear more about your morning routine. What does your morning routine look like? How do you keep yourself focused, energized, mentally alert, uh, spiritually you, you know, focused in your character and your soul? all focused on the things that are most important to you. How do you go about that? What's your morning routine look like, right? So uh, post your comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. On behalf of myself and all of the Hanson Group company uh, team, have a great rest of your day. We look forward to seeing you uh, once again on the next episode of The Terry Hanson Show. Take good care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.